Hey everyone, it's a new year, which means there are new goals to be achieved. The new year brings newness and fresh energy to evaluate everything that we're trying to manifest and invite into our lives. In this video, I'll share with you things I like to do to start my new year with achieving my goals in view. Putting a little effort to wear some clothes and brush my hair really lifts my mood, especially if I have a meeting or sessions for the day. Getting dressed signals to me that now I'm in work mood. Something comfortable and something that's not my nightwear is a big step up for me. Creating the kind of future for myself that puts me at ease or brings me peace is important. And vision boarding helps me put together a visual representation of what I want. Just looking at it helps me to focus on my end result and gives me the push to do the things needed to get there. It's fun, it's colorful, entertaining, and opens my creative side up, and I love that. Using it as a wallpaper on my phone constantly reminds me of where I'm going, and it's also a pretty cool wallpaper too. On some days, I can be unmotivated to do stuff relating to my goals, but looking at the vision board can spark energy and inspiration to go on. Okay, for vision boarding, something that's really important that can really help is being specific. So going to places like Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, taking words, taking images that are very specific to your goals. So take your goals, look at your goals. What are these pictures that depict these goals in the clearest form or these words that give a clear definition of these goals and yeah take them out and put them on this vision board you don't want to look at your vision board and ask yourself why did i put this in the first place no let it be as specific as possible or straight to the point as possible and so that when you go back to it immediately you see it you know this is the goal that i put this for and this is and and I know what I want to do to achieve this. This is the end result. Because it can be either the end result. This can depict rather the images, the end result of that goal or that vision or the process of that thing. So yeah, that's a, just make it as visual as possible. Make it as straight to the point as possible. Put it on your phone, put it on your laptop, somewhere you can always see so that you don't forget to do these things. Having a journal or planner for my work helps me break down my goals properly. It also helps me record when I have achieved certain work or YouTube milestones. For work, I put down how I want to achieve a certain goal and the things I need to do. When I have achieved this goal, I also put down the process it took to get there as they might have been different. I also do well to commend and affirm myself, so on days I'm feeling low, I can come back and look at the journal. For YouTube, I put down all the topics I want to explore and also plan the thumbnail that will go with the videos and when I make the videos. I write down the challenges I might have faced while filming so I can analyze that and work better next time. Picking out a book for the month helps me keep up my reading habits and also helps me pace myself and not judge myself for not reading enough. It's always better to read something even if it's slowly than not read at all. So pick a book that goes with the kind of month you want to have and get reading. There's one thing that usually helps me put my day together and that is planning. So I got these cute little books. This is one and this is the second one. So what I do is not really write the big plans that I have for the week, but the tiny, tiny ones. So all these small, small things that I would usually forget, I put them down in these books and i put these books in very obvious places so i can i made sure the books look different from other books so that i can easily pick them up open them and see what i have planned for the day the reason why i do this is because i don't want to overwhelm or underwhelm myself when i don't plan like this when i don't put things together when i don't write things down i end up not doing anything or doing everything or trying to do everything and that will either overwhelm or underwhelm like i said so when you do this you know the exact things to do so you're not doing everything at once or you're not doing nothing because you think you don't have anything to do yeah so having these little books around really really helps my yearly goals are kept short and simple and are written down on my phone for easy access I want to be able to open my phone at any time and just scroll my notes and see them there. They are the bigger picture and I always want to have them in my head to motivate my daily footsteps. I decided to start eating in the afternoon because it gives me more energy and when I have low energy, I don't work. 
when I don't eat, I'm not capable of doing projects for a long time. I'm not capable of starting a new thing in the afternoon. I just look away. So I realized that after eating in the morning, I actually have to eat in the afternoon because food actually gives energy. I've gone to this thing of eating only mornings and evenings because I used to feel like they were very important and very lazy to want food. <laughs> but now I'm going to push myself to do that because I practiced eating three times. One time at the last year and I realized that it helps me. It helps productivity and just basically helps with achieving weekly and daily tasks faster and more effectively because I mean when you have more energy it's easier to work. I put down all my goals for the month in a book instead of my phone as they are longer. I do not put down how to achieve them but go back to this book to tick them when I am done. This helps me have a sense of direction and a clearer picture. Other than having big yearly goals and tiny goals that uh, for your to-do list it's very important to have monthly goals what are the things you're going to do in a month that are going to help you achieve these yearly goals that are big and that you've set up for yourself so having these small small things will help you put things together in a way so what you can do is get a book like this one so i don't put this on my notes because it's usually longer it's not short it's something that i actually need to come open up and there are things i write under each one make sure these goals that you're writing down for each month are very specific to your yearly goal like how can these things achieving these things affect achieving that big goal or those big goals you set up for yourself yearly because at the end of the day those are your that's your focus as well those things are your focus and that's why it's very very important that in your yearly goals try to keep them shorter than longer um, you might have longer goals that's left to you but like i try to keep mine shorter so that at least I don't overwhelm myself with a lot of things for the year. Another thing I try to do is not make resolutions. So when you make resolutions, a lot of times resolution leads to people thinking that if they don't do these things or if they don't change in certain ways, they are failed. And I don't like feeling like a failure even when I do not achieve a goal. So I try to not do resolutions and just stick to goals as they help me work harder. Yeah, other than resolutions. Resolutions are just things that like people have put on themselves a lot of times to change who they are and at the end of the day when it doesn't happen or when these things don't work out the way they want to work out there's a lot of um, feeling of loss or anger or sadness and I don't want that so I just stick to goals and even when my goals are not achieved I know that I can do something else to help achieve them instead of just letting them go or I'll just change the course of my goals and work in a different way in order to achieve them. You can switch up the way you journal this year. Each year you don't have to journal the same way. One way that I feel like can really help what has really helped me in the past in journaling is giving myself prompts, going to the internet or just as or just looking at words. I use random words around me to give myself prompts. I know I'm starting my journaling with those words. It can be how and I start journaling with those words. I'm switching up how you journal can help you even on days that you want to journal but you don't necessarily have the words to start journaling. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I try to keep it short because I just want to go straight to the point and I'm not trying to ramble and ramble and ramble all the time but thank you so much. If you're a returning subscriber, my love always. If you're new, please subscribe if this is the type of content you want. I am trying to be more consistent, yes, <laughs> this um, year and I hope that my videos will help people more than, like I want them to be entertaining but I also want them to be very 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 helpful. So please like, subscribe, share, um, leave a comment. I really want to hear how this has helped you or if anything in this video you've done them before and if they've helped you in any way. I just want to hear from you basically and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!